Alright, let's add a few vectors here. Um, I've got vector u, which I've drawn in purple, and then I've got vector v, which I've drawn in blue, and when we draw vectors or we label vectors, uh, we should have that little bar over the top. Your book just makes it bold sometimes. Um, so I'm going to, just for the sake of clarity here, omit this little bar over the top, otherwise it's going to clutter up my pictures. But know that both of these are vectors. And have, uh, to be a vector, it has to have direction and magnitude. Magnitude is the same as length, and direction is a bearing. So let's do example one here, where we're, I want to add u plus v. So I want to add the blue vector and the purple vector together, but I'm using the triangle method. So, and I sometimes call the triangle method tip to tail, because that's what makes sense to me. Tip to tail. So I'm going to stack these vectors tip to tail. So let's start with vector u, and I'm just going to try and draw it here and duplicate length and direction as best I can. So there's vector u, and now I want to add to it vector w. Uh, I'm sorry, vector v. But remember I'm using the triangle method, which I say is tip to tail. So I take the new vector and I put its tail to the tip of the one I just drew. So I'm going to draw it like that. Okay, see how they're tip to tail like that? And then the result, or u plus v, you're going to connect them, pretend that's straight, and that green vector is u plus v. Let's do example two. And I have vector w here, and I have not described vector w. Let's pick a new color for w. Let's make it magenta. All right, so there's w. All right, so let's add these up. So we'll start with w some room here. So there's W, and I'm going to add 2 times U to that. Well, that 2U is the same as U plus U, right? 2U equals a U plus a U. So here's my U, tip to tail method, U, and then another U. So that's U, and that's U. And so I did that first, and now I want to add V. So V, tip to tail method. Here's my V, so there's my V up there. And then when I'm all done, I go from the beginning up to where I end it, pretend those things touch. And that's W plus 2U plus V. So there's adding those up. Let's do one more example. So 3W, so w, there's, oops, there's 1w, 2w, 3w, oh, and now I want to subtract v, oh, so subtracting v, remember when we add, uh, or when we subtract, let's just say subtract x, that's the same thing as adding uh, negative x. I'm going to go in the opposite direction, and V is the blue, tip to tail. So V is now going to my V. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So that's down here. Okay, and then the green from the beginning to the end. So let's label a couple things here. This was negative V down here. And so the green now is, there's your 3W minus V, that one right there. All right, so let's do now a few with the uh, parallelogram method. And um, I don't really want to start a new page because I have my vectors up here. So let me just erase what I have here.
your tails together. So let's do 2 u minus v. So u, let's see, that was kind of a purple one. So here's a u, and here's a u. So there's a u and a u. So there's my 2 u together. So I can think of that as one vector, 2 u. And then the other one is v, and I'm going to subtract v, which means I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Okay, I'll get rid of this one here. All right, so v, and then that one is in blue. So I'm going to go tail to tail. So opposite direction, so that's negative v. All right, here's the parallelogram part. So where I've drawn v in the negative direction uh, down there, I'm going to make a duplicate one up there. And then where I've drawn the two u's this way, I'm going to make duplicate ones up there. See how I've made a parallelogram? And so then I start at the beginning where the two tails were together. And then I draw... There we go. I am drawing the result there. And that result, that's my two u minus v. Two u minus v. Parallelogram. Let's do another example. Let's do a w plus v w. Let's see, that was the magenta one. So here's my w. Oh, that's a little longer. And the v, let's see, the v was the blue one here. So tail to tail. So there's my v. And then I'm going to duplicate the v here and duplicate the W up there, parallel, we're making a parallelogram, and then I start where the two tails are together, draw my vector up there, and that is, the green here, is W plus V. Alright, let's do one more, let me do some erasing here, and Think of that as one vector. 3v is one vector, which is uh, three separate v's added together. And I'm going to add u to it. Let's see, that's the purple one. So tail to tail. And there's the u. Then you create your parallelogram. So there's my other u. And then there's my dotted line to create my parallelogram. And then I'm going to draw the results. So we start where the two tails are together, up to where the two tips go, and that piece right there is called 3B plus U. And that's adding vectors geometrically.